All right, it is that time again for the Sudoride updates. So one of the things they did earlier this month was allow us to permanently delete our documents. Whereas before we could delete a document, it would sit down here in our trash and we could not empty that trash, couldn't permanently delete everything. Now you can empty the trash. Keep in mind, once you delete those from your trash, you cannot recover them. They cannot recover them. So use it cautiously. If you think you might need it later, I don't recommend deleting it. Visualize was upgraded to Dolly 3. It used to cost 100 words, now it costs 200. So not a significant cost increase, but a huge increase in the quality of the output. You may have seen me mess with this in another video, and I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of the image that it generated. And as I've mentioned before, Visualize is a nice little tool to get you some promotional images for social media and things like that. So Visualize was upgraded. In addition to permanently deleting your documents, you can now permanently delete your projects. And again, use caution with this because once you permanently delete them, they cannot recover those projects. I recommend not deleting your project until you have your book published and you know you have everything saved in another location, just in case. And one of the bigger announcements was they're moving to a credits-based pricing model. So what does this mean for credits? As of right now, you're just charged by words. It doesn't matter what model you use. If you have it generate 150 words, you lose 150 words. With this credits-based system, it's now going to be more like how you work inside Open Router or Playground, any place that has an API. Those of us who work with APIs, you know that the different models cost different things. So now you're able to reap that benefits inside the Pseudorite plan. So you're still paying a set amount each month for your plan, but you should be getting more usage out of it. Because now let's say you like using one of the open source models like Weaver, which is cheaper than GPT or Claw 2. You'll be able to get more words out because they're going to charge you based on credit. So it's not just a per word basis. It's what are they having to pay to use Weaver? That's what you're going to get charged. What are they having to pay to use Claw 2? That's what you're going to get charged when you generate your words now. So again, Pricing should stay the same. You'll still have tiers. The hobby plan will cost the same, but they do expect more people to get usage out of it. Same with the pro plan. The monthly will cost the same, and they expect more people to get more usage out of it. The annual price for the pro plan will decrease. If you're like me, if you've already paid for the annual plan, you will get reimbursed some credits to make up that difference. So you're not going to get a refund in terms of the cost, not a cash reimbursement, anything like that, you'll get some extra credits to make up for that amount that you've already paid for to cover the difference. You'll start off with a nice little jump. They're adding a new plan between the pro and max plans. It's going to cost about half of the current max plan. And they're also looking at adding rollover credits. I am told them I'm ecstatic about the possibility of rollover credits. I really hope that kicks in. As of right now, whenever you go to buy word packs, you may have seen that they cost differently based on which plan you're on. So hobby, monthly, I'm sorry, hobby, pro, and max. Each one goes to buy a word pack. They cost a different amount. It will still be that way. However, all of the packs will now cost significantly less, which is a good deal because keep in mind, those word packs roll over. They don't expire until you actually use them. The way it will work, if they do the rollover for the pro and, or the plan that's going to be between the pro and max, if they add rollover of credits to that plan, those will expire, but it'll be like a 12 month rollover. So they won't last forever like your word pack words do, but they will carry over for a year. And again, that is not set in stone yet. They are still looking at whether or not they will add the rollover of credits on that plan. And it will just be for 
the plan that is between the pro and max that they're going to create and the max plan. The hobby and pro plans will not have that rollover unless something changes. Keep in mind, things can always change. Until this is released, we don't have everything set in stone yet. So what does the timeline currently look like? The new pricing model is expected to be released by the end of November this month. That could change. Something could happen until we actually get it. Nothing is set in stone yet. They do expect to have the new pricing model released by the end of this month. Plugins is their main focus right now. They want that released to all users by the end of the year. So whereas Rewrite 2.0 was the main focus before, once they started working on plugins, that kind of got pushed back. Plugins is still in beta. It's closed down for accepting new participants. And they should be releasing that soon. Everything looks good so far. Just finalizing some details, making sure there are no kinks before they send that out to everybody. Starting next year, Rewrite 2.0 will go back to being the main focus. If you're unfamiliar with that, that is what is going to be our enhanced editor. So if you're someone who likes to write inside Pseudowrite proper a lot, using the write and auto write features and using the laser tools a lot as you go, you're going to love Rewrite 2.0. You'll be able to highlight more than 300 words and actually use the prompts. You'll also be able to save your prompts. So if you use Rewrite Customize and you're always telling it to add more dialogue, you will now be able to save that prompt and just click it like you do when you tell it to show, not tell, or be more descriptive. People will also be able to share their prompts within the community. So if somebody else has a prompt that works really well for them, they can send it your way and you'll be able to add it to your list to use inside Rewrite. So it's really going to be great for those who like to use Pseudorite proper, all the laser tools, whether it's while you're editing or while you're actually writing, you're going to like Rewrite 2.0. We are currently testing new models, and when I say currently, I mean just this past week is when we started testing them. We are looking at models for Pseudorite's write features so that auto-write and guided write you will now be able to select a model to choose to write with instead of the default. Story Bible currently has four models to choose from. Most accurate, best prose, fastest, and unfiltered, which is Weaver. They're looking at adding even more models, and we are testing those as well. So as of right now, there's no fine-tuning of the, those models that we're testing. We're just seeing, okay, what works, what doesn't work, what is way off base, what will be good for, you know, let's say humor. That's one that we're really struggling with right now. If you've messed with AI, you know its humor can just be really cheesy. So for Weaver, our unfiltered model is proving to be the best at humor or specifically dry humor like I showed in a recent class. We are testing out some others. I'm not going to name them just in case, you know, they don't make the cut. I don't want people to say, hey, I thought this one was going to be included. But we are looking at another one for humor. And hopefully we'll find one that just really nails it across the board for y'all. Future ideas. These are things that we have talked about with Pseudorite. They've listened to y'all's feedback. Things that y'all really want, such as the bigger boxes. This has been requested since Story Engine was in beta, specifically the character box. And a lot of people want bigger outlines and other boxes. So they are listening. And with this new pricing structure, they should be able to implement that a lot easier. So whereas before, since those boxes use GPT, which is one of the more expensive models, if they increase the, the size of the box, well, it would also be an increased cost. They have to make up for that somewhere. With this new pricing structure, since it's going off of credits, it'll be a lot easier for them to implement things like that. So that is not set in stone yet. They don't have any idea that's not even on their radar to start working on at this moment. Again, their main focus right now is plugins. Then it's going to be Rewrite 2.0, getting some new models out, and then trying to incorporate all of y'all's suggestions and the ideas for things that y'all want. I really think for those who stick around over the next year with Pseudorite, Learn how to use the boxes, learn how to finesse all of the different models because we do need different prompting for them. I think y'all are going to be really happy 
by the end of 2024. So I look forward to seeing y'all in the Pseudorite community and good luck with your writing. Bye, everyone.